Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, this is a little news update about um, something that we talked about in the past that is still scaring a lot of government uh, services and even, you know, tech companies. And we call about the uh, Black Lotus malware, which is a malware that installs on the UEFI boot sequence. So that means that it is such at the most basic level of your PC that it is, first of all, booted with your system. It runs when you boot into Windows, does a lot of things, including play around with BitLocker and disabling all the features. And, and you know, I say it all the time, and a lot of people don't believe it, but every re researcher, every security company out there does say that if you are infected with this, whatever antivirus you're using, none of them detect it. None. Zero. So, you know, when I say that the security is you, it is totally you. And thinking that I'm safe because I'm running security software just shows you that you're not thinking right, and it's not at all how it works. Um, Black Lotus uh, source code has leaked, actually. And this is the interesting part of this um, little video. So um, what is the source code? Source code is the basic building blocks, if you want, of any software. So if you have the source code for Windows, for example, you now know how Windows is constructed, how it works, behaves, and you can even do your own changes in it. Of course, Windows source code is kept as secret as possible because it's the proprietary code of Microsoft. Black Lotus was kept secret for a while and was sold $5,000 to whoever wanted to have all of the information about it and the tools required to actually inf infect as many people as possible, as many machines. And um, it is interesting because that rootkit now is available on GitHub for free. It actually has a lot of people now looking at it to see the behavior, how it's constructed, and how it actually does everything, including totally evade your antivirus. It doesn't detect it at all. Now, what's sad about this is that the um, this bypasses what we call a secure boot, which is a security feature that Windows can be using. A lot of computers, uh, secure boot is actually off, but if it's on, uh, it adds technically some security, but this actually bypasses secure boot, and this is the first malware that actually does that. So that's why it scared a lot of people, uh, because what happens is that they thought that, you know, it was almost impossible to bypass or change anything there, and suddenly you got this malware, and this shows that whatever feature you do, whatever protection you do, there's always somebody somewhere that's going to try to actually bypass that security. Um, so that um, Windows Secure Boot, which is a security feature that just blocks anything that's not trusted as a bootloader. There's a lot of people took Secure Boot as a means for Microsoft to stop Linux, which isn't at all the case. It's just that it blocks Linux because most Linux bootloaders aren't actually trusted. They're not signed. Nobody goes and says, here's the trusted source that for booting Linux Mint, for example. And that's why you got to turn it off if you want to boot into something else in Windows most of the time. Um, but now this evades the detection. It actually just um, goes through, and it's almost impossible to remove. And this is also the scary part of this type of code, is how difficult these types of malware actually render. You know, in some cases, there were, there's some manuf manufacturers and some uh, government uh, entities that actually have just scrapped tons of PCs infected with this because it was just so darn expensive and complicated to remove that it was less expensive to just get new machines that are clean. 
So, you know, this is crazy stuff. And now that the code is out there and leaked, well, this is going to be another uh, thing because a lot of people now will have access to how to use it. Um, there is one um, post that says that Black Lotus UEFI uh, bootkit for Windows um, with integrated secure boot bypass and ring zero kernel protection against removal. So this is um, due to the strong persistence. There is no need to regularly update the agent. Um, and it says once installed, antiviruses will be unable to scan and detect it, unable to remove it. The software consists of two main components, an agent installed on the target device and a web interface used by administrators to control bots. So this is showing how as we're going into the future, it's going to be more and more difficult to really, really fight malware. So if you think your antivirus does something, think again. This is a great example where it does nothing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.